here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, and it truly is a beautiful day. The sun is shining, mountains are in the background, and we are hanging out on this huge patio outside a penthouse suite at the Rosedale on Robson Hotel. It's a great time to be a hockey fan because coming up we get to chat with former Vancouver Canuck Jeff Courtnell. Of course Jeff's a great guy and he's doing tons of charitable initiatives including his celebrity golf tournament over on Vancouver Island. Lots of things in the city and a big topic for Jeff and an important cause close to his heart is mental health in hockey these days. So we're going to speak to him about that including his dad's foundation, the Archie Courtnell Victoria Hospital. So you're still living on Vancouver Island, but obviously you come back to the city of Vancouver often? Well, actually I'm living in Victoria and Vancouver and spending a lot more time in Vancouver now. Hockey's still a big part of your life, and recently you were coaching in the BCHL Junior A with the Victoria Grizzlies. It was, it was exciting and challenging. I really enjoyed being back in hockey and coaching my son, and I, I've coached both my sons for years all the way up. and. It's always that much more enjoyable when your own son is on the team and being able to offer some of my experience to the younger kids was great. Uh, also coaching university hockey, you're just doing it all over there. <laughs> yeah, I, um, my oldest son Adam played for UVic so right. I, I coached that team and that was a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the difficult part was the practices were at six in the morning and all the kids <laughs> You know, they, they all had to leave halfway through practice to get to class in time, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was really um, enjoyable to see some kids, you know, getting an education, but at the same time really having a lot of fun playing hockey. Talk a little bit about your golf tournament, the Courtnell Celebrity Golf Classic. It's uh, been in the running for a couple of years now. I've had great success exceeded your expectations even. We had the Courtnell Classic Fishing Derby here in Vancouver and raised money for Canuck Place in 1993, 94, 95 and then when we both moved back to Russ and I moved back to Victoria after our careers were over we decided to have a Courtnell Classic golf tournament. You know it was a great idea by a doctor in Victoria and uh, it was something that uh, we spent a lot of time deciding on, um, but basically building an emergency facility that can treat people that are uh, in desperate need of, of treatment that are suffering from mental health. And, and basically, I think um, from the time we've opened to now, um, you know, it's the use has gone up probably 60%, and um, it's, it's one of well, one of its only kind in the world, and a lot of people come from all over the world to Victoria to look at the Archie Courtnell Center just because of the significant impact it's had in Victoria. You know, mental health really just started to come out of the clouds and the closets and um, the stigmas starting to change. I think that uh, you know what happens is a lot of people that get sick or feel mental health issues when they're younger self-medicate with drugs and now the drugs on the street are are very strong and I think so you know people are starting to become addicted and that is basically taken into a whole other place um, I think that, uh, that you know mental health issues in the NHL is just due to the fact that uh, you know right now in the in the in the world there's just a lot of issues that everyone has to deal with and some people deal with them differently I think uh, concussions that's what ended my career and yeah I've had troubles I've had definite mental health issues you know in the last 10 years and and I've been fortunate to um, find my way through it and uh, Basically, sobriety has been a big thing for me. Yeah, well, Cam and I, uh, it's a long story, but uh, basically we hated each other in junior. He played for Portland, I played for Victoria. We used to fight, and uh, it was just one of those things that uh, when he got traded to Boston, I picked him up at the airport. He was my roommate. We became like best friends when we played together in Boston and we're always together. 
And, um, you know, we've always continued the friendship, and uh, so, so we do talk a lot. He has some battles um, off the ice too. He's gone through some some tough times with his family, etc. And I know coming up on April 16th, you're running in the Boston Marathon, and it benefits his foundation as well as yours. Talk a bit about that. Yeah, when Cam and I roomed together, um, you know, he his mom was fighting cancer, and uh, unfortunately, she uh, didn't make it, and um, that was a real tough time for Cam. And then his dad got sick as well, and, and he really, really had a difficult few years. So we were together at the 2010 Olympics, and I told him my goal was to run the marathon before I was 50, and that I, if I did it, I was going to try and raise money for his foundation. So I've come up with a plan to, uh, basically, I'm going to donate $1,000 for every minute I break, three hours and 10 minutes. So. I'm hopeful that I break three hours. That's my goal, and we'll see what happens. I still really feel in the back of my mind that someday I, w I would coach and maybe go coach in the American League and, and see if I like it. I've kind of not done it because I know it's, a, it, you know, that's where I started in 1983, and the travel is very, very tough. You know, you have to drive to a lot of cities on the bus, and and I just, I just don't know for sure if I want to do that again, but it's something that I have thought about. I think, you know, nowadays in the NHL, it's a different time. Um, you know, the salaries that the players are getting, the, the biggest key is to get everybody on board and everyone with a positive attitude if you want to win.